SMT Nation, we back. Nation, uh, we got big news at a dish and Boost Infinite Service. It's actually starting to get reviewed by the analysts within the industry. All right, so that's big. If Boost Infinite can get the blessings from analysts, they'll be they'll be singing their praises. You know, they'll be printing out, you know, writing articles and sharing their experiences to, to folks that are inquiring about the service. And it would leave a, I think, a positive spin on the service to the industry. All right. So I think it's time uh, that we kind of discuss this. You know, what is the experience on Boost Infinite like? Uh, and, and have things gotten better? Are they real players now? Uh, but we got some disclosures here from some analysts. All right, I'll be sure to link the article for you. It'll be in the description uh, from Fierce Wireless. And of course, if you want to support us, there are ways to do that. The links are in the description. Show your appreciation for all the content here on the channel. All right, so analysts from New Street Research went ahead and got that special iPhone deal from Boost Infinite. What they did was they uh, they activated the, the new iPhone 15 Pro through the Boost Infinite service. Uh, if you guys don't know, this is that infinite access for iPhone plan. Uh, you get $1,000 towards an iPhone 15 Pro, unlimited cell service, and it's $60 per month, right? So that's basically what it is. Uh, get you a brand new iPhone, you know, and uh, and a good deal on service. 60 bucks, phone and service. Uh, and in terms of like, uh, you know, the purchase and the activation and everything, uh, the analyst said it went great. Uh, the iPhone was overnighted. By the united um uh the united parcel service the activation was easy just a few buttons uh no physical sims in the iphones so you got to do it all you know through the eSIM activation portal uh, but they said that they didn't even need any customer support so something i i would want to say is if you're trying boost infinite and you don't have a number to port in you're starting from scratch you know with a new number assigned to you like you should be good it's not not probably any type of problems that are going to come your way. I think where things can get a little hairy with some of these things are when you port in. We see that with all types of prepaid and postpaid carriers. Porting can be a pain and very risky. So, you know, if if you're trying to reduce the likelihood of needing customer care and having troubles with port-ins, I, I say just get a new number and have it as a secondary line or something, you know. Um, but anyways, uh, so some people are reporting problems with ports, but... Regardless of that, in terms of the network experience, you guys got to understand some these these analysts, you know, they just want to use the phone. You know, they want to see that the speeds are good, the experience is reliable and good, calling, texting works. You know, they'll put it through the paces, but they're not looking for gigabit speed. You know, that that's that's more like the power users, you know, dream come true. But I don't know the the reports from the analysts: eighty megabits per second indoors, four hundred megabits per second outdoors. Plenty good. Uh, they also noted that the uh, network experience was on the T-Mobile network. Remember, AT and T and T-Mobile have deals with, you know, Boost and Boost Infinite and, and Dish. So you might be on either one, depending on your activation methodology and your plan. You know, it might <laughs> you don't know, uh, or maybe you do know, but you know that that's that's something you got to understand is the activation portal for, you know, Boost Infinite seems to be more reliable and better with the T-Mobile network so that might be what we're seeing here uh physical sims they probably would have sent them if this phone had it it would have been on the at&t network in all likelihood uh but you know connecting to the dish network you got to be in a voice over ni market uh voice over nr market excuse me and he was able to confirm that he was indeed on the dish native network and also using the t-mobile plmn as well so he confirmed that all right 25 bucks a month folks you know, and, and for that service. And with the iPhone, it takes you up to 60, covers the phone and the service. Uh, Walt Pycheck from uh, Lightshed Partners, he's using the service. I think he made his order last weekend, and he said it was great. He said activation was excellent. He said the service has been good. He is happy. All right, analysts reporting good things. I think it's time. You know, this, this finally, you know, comes together for Boost and Dish. And we want to see him be viable and want to see him doing good things. And we want to see him find success. We need that competitor in the marketplace. To hell with Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile. They're too damn comfortable. We'd love a disruptor. What say you? Good signs? Meaningless? Is it something? Is it nothing? What do you guys have to say? Love to hear what you 
uh, have to say on Boost Infinite, while the voice of the people of the SMT Nation lets your voice be heard.